Welcome back. In the first part, I was explaining how a psychological model called the Dunning-Kruger effect can be used to explain the journey that an algo trader takes from when they initially start out to eventually, hopefully, when they become a successful trader. And as the trader goes through this journey, I said that it's often the case that the more experience, the more skills and the more knowledge the trader gets, the more they realize there still is to learn. And this brings me on to my second model. So here, the red segment of the pie chart represents all the things that this algo trader currently knows. So think of this as their skill set, their knowledge and their experience. And the blue segment represents all of those things that the trader knows exists, but they have no knowledge or skills in. So you could look at this as the learning plan for this particular trader. And if you're anything like me, you'll have a huge to-do list of things to investigate further. Now, if life was that simple, that would be great. But unfortunately, it's not. So these red and blue segments that represent all of the things that the trader does know and all of the things that they know they don't know is actually quite a small subset of all the trading knowledge that exists. And that's represented here by this green segment. So just for clarity, this is all of the knowledge, techniques and skills that could help a trader become successful. But at this point in time, they don't even know about the existence of it. And so, of course, it's not on their to-do list to investigate. Now, as you, as an algo trader, go through that journey that I explained in the first part of that curve explained by the Dunning-Kruger effect, one of the things I said is that the more you learn, the more you realize there's still to learn. And this happened to me this week which is actually why I decided to put this particular presentation together. And this came about because of something that I recently put on my to-do list, which was to look at some adaptive techniques where indicators can adapt to what the market is doing at the time. And if you remember the episode that I did from my camper van, you'll know what I'm talking about. So this week I started to explore this in a bit more detail. And one name kept coming up again and again, and this was John Ayler's. Now, I was already aware of some of the work that John has produced in the past and the research that he's done, and I've always found it quite intriguing and interesting. However, until this week, I haven't really explored it in any detail. And as I started to do this, I recognized that John uses a technique called digital signal processing which is used very heavily within electrical engineering, which I believe is the background of John himself. Now, this is something that I have absolutely no experience of at all. And on the face of it, it looks fairly complex. And I have to hold my hands up and say that there was a lot of what I was reading that I just didn't understand. Now, this had a psychological impact. Last week, everything was fine. I was just going along as normal. But after reading some of John's work, I actually realized there was a huge mountain in front of me and a huge amount of learning that I was going to have to go through if I was going to do this in the best possible way. And so going back to our model now, there was a section of this green segment that was now opened up to my own world. And so instead of this now belonging to the trading knowledge that I didn't even know existed, it's moved into the blue segment of things I know about, but have no knowledge or skills in. Now, whenever something like this happens, it has a psychological impact on me because all of a sudden life seems much harder. And when that happens, it has an effect on confidence. And so now if we return to our Dunning-Kruger effect, I actually think it's different to this or certainly it's different from my own experience. So instead of this being a nice steady curve of experience increasing and confidence increasing, for me personally, it's much more like this. And the journey is actually made up of waves where confidence decreases when I realize there's a whole subject area that I know nothing about, but I need to know about. 
But when this happens, and it has happened many, many times in the past, I have to tell myself that if I work through this and commit to learning this, then I'm going to come out better off on the other side. And of course, when that happens, your experience has increased, and with that, your confidence has increased as well. And so the process has actually helped you to move along this curve. Now, I'm saying this to you now, but actually, I'm feeling still as if there is a mountain ahead of me. So I'm in one of these dips that you can see on the chart right now, which is why I have to keep on telling myself I've been through this many times in the past. And equally, I know that I will go through this phase many times in the future. And for me, that's all part of learning. And so my advice to you is that when you're feeling like that, you have to keep your mind focused on the end game. And the fact that if you work through this, the benefits that you achieve will be well worth the effort. So as I started off the episode today and said that I felt that psychology was important to algo traders, but the nature of that psychology is different to that of discretionary traders, hopefully you can now understand where I was coming from. Now, psychology is one of those things that is going to be different for everyone. And what I've shown you today with those two models is the most meaningful way of representing that for me personally. And if for you, you think it's something completely different, then please just drop a few lines in the comments below. And also, if you have any hints and tips of how to overcome those psychological biases, I'm sure that there'll be someone who will benefit from that who reads it. And so that's it for this episode. I hope you've got some value from that. And until next time, trade safe.